Okay, so we're going to do a quick demonstration on how to um, plot the bonus points for the Shenandoah Strong. There's three different ways you're going to have to do it, um, by UTM, by bearing and distance, and also by bearing and bearing. So I'm just going to kind of run through each method on how you can do that. And what I'm going to do is use the map that uh, you're all going to be given on race day. And what we're going to do is plot some of the existing points that are, that are on here and show you how to basically use the tool to find those uh, particular points. On race day, of course, we're gonna have points A through E. Um, they won't be on the map and you're gonna have to plot them. So I'm gonna start off by showing you how to do um, a UTM plot. So this is a sample of the sheet that you're gonna get. Um, and here you can see the top one is going to be by bearing uh, two different UTM coordinates here, an easting and an awning. So, Let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and plot uh, checkpoint T15. So I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to know is on a map, you're gonna have a grid coordinate and each of the different coordinates are shown on the bottom. Each one of these squares represents um, a thousand meters in either direction. And this map is at a very particular scale. It's one to 15,000, so that's important. So um, what we're gonna do is basically use these numbers on the side of the map and these numbers here to plot a point on the map and that's where the checkpoint's gonna be. So first of all, across the bottom of the map you have coordinates going up in value. These are called your eastings. And going up the side of the map you have some different coordinates and they're called your northings. And so when we look at the coordinates we're gonna give you, um, they're gonna correspond the first few numbers to these overall grid numbers. And so the easiest way, without thinking about this too much, is to uh, very first of all find the big square that you need to find where the checkpoint is. And we can do that by counting back the first three digits of your coordinate here and then putting a little line. And we'll do that on the east thing too. And really what that is helping us do is break out which big square your point is in. So let's look at T15. Um, we're gonna look for square 733 along our easting at the bottom. So 733 is that number right here. So I know it's starting here somewhere. And I'm gonna look at my northern number here, which is 4303. I've got the side of the map and I find 4303. So I know it's on this line here. And I kind of go across here figure out where that is in coordination with that. So now I know that the checkpoint I'm gonna plot is somewhere in this square right here. So the next thing I'm gonna use is my handy dandy UTM plotting tool. These have lots of different scales on them. Um, we're at one to 15,000. And so you can double check that you're using the right scale because this is my scale across for my um, eastings. This is my scale up here for my northings. If I lay that up against my map, you can see that covers exactly one square. So from here, from this coordinate here, all the way across to here, it fills in exactly. So now what I need to do is find out exactly where my coordinate is within this particular square up here. And that's what the last three numbers tell me. So I know um, the northing is 60 meters. So really what that means is it's 60 meters north of this line, which I call it calculated, and it's also 187 meters east off of this line here. 870. So 870. So what I'm gonna do is take my plotter, and you can see I'm gonna line it up in the corner right here. So my zero for the scale here is on my corner here at the far side, and my 10 goes up to here. And what I'm going to do is for my northing, I'm basically going to go up this here and I can see that's 50, 100, 150, 200. I need to come up 60. So I'm going to come up 60. And I can put a little mark, but before I do that, what I'm going to do is get my easting in, which was 870. So on this scale here, I'm going to find 800, which is 8 and 70 and line that up right here. And that's on basically my coordinate line that I originally found. 
and then I can go up 60 and it has a little uh, like groove where I can put the pen through and that's gone up 60 and you can see that's plotted right in the middle of T15 which is the checkpoint I wanted. So I'll just do one more to show you guys. I'm going to start off by finding what my main grid is and I do count that by take three digits off the end which is my um, inside my main square and do that here. So find my Eastings which is 734 somewhere on that grid line 4304 on my northing somewhere on this grid line so what I'll do is go across go up so I'm at somewhere inside this square here I'm going to start off doing my Easting which is 430 put it on my scale come across 400 around 30 and then what I'm going to do is go up 510 so 510 and that puts me right in the middle of my T23 coordinates so that's how you basically calculate using UTM and a UTM plotter